welcome to my youtube channel pharmaware in today's video i'll be discussing about visual inspection of the product which are colored which are very difficult to inspect so how we can visually inspect the color products or emulsion products or white solutions milky solution how we can do it let us discuss about it so when we talk visual inspection visual inspection is not an a process which actually adds quality to the product it just checks that the product has a particulate contamination or some other defects or not it just gives you the health of your previous processes it gives you health of your upstream upstream when i say upstream it means washing of the containers sterilization of the containers filling of the containers handling of the product the bulk product which we have filled inside the product inside the container whether it was properly filtered or not whether it is clear or not so this is only the measure of quality of upstream and the process it's it will not add any value to the product so this is very important to understand many times people mistake that visual inspection is the process which ensures that the product will not have particles no it's not like that visual inspection will not ensure that your product has particle or not it will only tell you that what is the defect in your upstream process so with that thought in mind let's understand that how we can inspect the color products let's begin so which guideline we have to refer it this is the frequent asked question which guideline i have to refer for this specific process so for visual inspection i will suggest that you refer usp 1790 and in that guideline also it has given the references of other usp chapters so that it will give you the holistic idea of how we can inspect or how we can buy through guideline i can define my processes or visual inspection process which is robust enough and you can always say this that this reference has been taken from the usp so that will not create lot of problem for you to defend when it comes to the inspection so for the color product what is the first requirement so what can be done can you make the color product clear by adding certain solvents that is the first way of thinking that is the first way of solution that is the first way of acting and usp also suggests if you can clarify the product you should clarify now if it is not be inspected by seeing into the visual inspection booth then what can be done that you have to take certain samples maybe 20 samples it is defined in usp as per the batch size how many samples you can take so you can take this that many sample you can transfer to other container clear container under laminar air flow so that it will not add contamination to your product once you do that you just clarify the solution by adding certain solvent so what to add how to clarify you can talk to r&d people product development team they can suggest you what to add and what to do so that you can get a clear product clear product inside the solution and then you inspect that clear solution and see whether it is contaminated or not now what is above and beyond that this is i am taking checking part but what else can be done so one way of doing it if you have filling line and if you are doing the color product for the first time or you have new filling line which have only color product what you can do you can do is this you just take a complete trial with water for injection right from the for your manufacturing process simulation to filtration process simulation to your container preparation to your sterilization preparation to your container washing depyrogenization everything you simulate as it is which is going to happen for the color product you do that you take the certain amount of sample you you, you fill the batch which is nearly equivalent to your commercial batch just to get an idea or if your commercial batch is for example very high 50000 container then you don't need to go for the 50000 container with wfi you just simulate the initial assembling process initial facing filling process you can fill 2 to 3000 containers just to check the health of upstream upstream means the previous processes which occurs before visual inspection to understand that whether this previous process has any impact does it any defect does it any problem 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और फिल्ट्रेशन वेसल मे हैव ब्रोकन गास्केट विच इज कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू पार्टिकल योर डिपाइजेशन टनल इज नॉट प्रॉपरली क्लीन योर वॉशिंग मशीन फिल्टर इज शेडिंग द फाइबर्स पॉइंट टू माइक्रो फिल्टर फॉर द वाटर फॉल इज इज शेडिंग फाइबर्स योर फिलिंग मशीन एट सर्टन इश्यूज योर फिलिंग असेंबली द सिलीकॉन ट्यूबिंग इज नॉट प्रॉपरली क्लीन सो आई एम जस्ट गिविंग द एग्जाम्पल्स विच कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टू योर फाइनल प्रोडक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ पार्टिकल मीटर इज इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ यूर फिलिंग अंडर एल एफ और इन रिस्पेक्टिव यू हेव फिल्टर द प्रोडक्ट थ्रू पॉइंट टू माइक्रोन फिल्टर सो दिस आर सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल विच कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टू पार्टिकुलर कंटेमिनेशन सो इफ यू इफ यू इफ ऑन योर कलर्ड फिलिंग लाइन इफ यू आर डूइंग दिस प्लेस अबो दिस ट्रायल इट विल गिव यू सम आइडिया दैट वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम विथ माई एफस्ट्रीम सो दैट यू कैन करेक्ट दैट प्रॉब्लम सो दैट इट विल नॉट गो टू योर final product so this is one way to identify whether my filling line has any particulate contamination problems or not then once you go for the actual manufacturing just check it out just check it out that do you have any procedure or solvent or other methodology so that you can make this color product to the clear solution if yes take out a certain number of samples from the batch transfer it to the clean container under l make it to clear solution and inspect as per your normal routine procedure or you can inspect in detail also it is not required that in this uh, certain condition you only inspect for the 5 seconds you can inspect for the more time just to get an idea that whether my product have any particular contamination or not or for that also you can take certain sample from the initial of the filling so from the experiences we know that if any problem in, is there in on the filling line it actually occurs into the initial part of the filling so you can have a separate sample for the initial part of filling you can inspect those also this also depended to the usp 1790 you can refer it now what is next you also have to perform 100% inspection of the all the color products so whatever is visible you can consider as a reject apart above and beyond that the cosmetic defect that also has to be rejected so cosmetic defect of course it can be inspected without like you don't need to have any any requirement that for cosmetic defect you need clear solution inside the vial so you inspect the cosmetic defects sealing defect scratches on the vials or containers this this improper improper sealing this sort of defect can be obviously identified in respect to your product is color or clear and for the color product what i said you we have to have certain procedure to make it clear or find out best ways to identify the particles one of the ways is also there that you can filter you can take out the solution filter to the point to micron filter and see whether we have any particles or not and if you are finding the particles then again it ask for it goes for the incident investigation we need to understand from where it is coming particle characteristics has to be identified whether it is from filter or any black particle or it is from the coming from the tubing or any other process so that it will give you idea that where you have to act to eliminate such type of defect so this is this is little brief about how we can inspect color products hope this video will be helpful for you if you like you can subscribe to my channel farmaware and you can also share to your friends juniors colleagues who you think can be benefited by this video thank you thank you very much